Hi, I'm Kevin Burke, Chief Marketing Officer at Visa, and I'm here at Cons. I'm Marcelo Serpa, co-channel of my BBDO Brazil. Well, we look for an intersection between the partnership or the sponsorship and our brand itself, and we find that both the Olympic Games and the World Cup offer us this really wonderful intersection between their brand and ours. And the reason we do these sponsorships is really there are four reasons. One, they help build our brand, they help drive our business, they help support our client relationships because we can do co-marketing, and they also let us showcase new payment technologies. I think every human being is, had the value in, the, in themselves about competing, to exceed, to, to search for excellence. And I think the sport just represents everything like this. And, and for the brands, it's fantastic to be attached to it. And I think the brands have this spirit of the, not only Olympic, but World Cup, this spirit in the brand together, it's, it works fine. So when we are successful, it's when we really identify that universal human truth that is fueling the fan engagement around that particular event. And so with the World Cup in particular, we have found that consumers are really united in their passion for football. And so that's what we've done through our work this year, is really celebrate that and bring that forward and show how Visa can help facilitate that inclusion or being a part of the World Cup itself. In the World Cup, you have to find a fit between the brand and what you want to say, because uh, the spirit of the World Cup, some, some brands fit very well, so you have to find this, this connection between the brand and the spirit of the World Cup, for instance. But the pressure is huge, because there's a lot of brands are doing great work out there, and the, f the, the field is almost the same, so you have to find the uniqueness, you have to find, and the uniqueness should be the brand message, not the commercial itself. So to find, how to find this link, because some of the, the commercials might be very similar and people don't realize which brand they are assigning. So you have to find the link and the fit between the message of the client and the sport. This is for me the most successful campaigns. What it allows us to do is to deliver content that's even more relevant. So it's the right message at the right time in the right context. And so if you're a football fan and you have other passions beyond football, we can actually take that information and use it to develop content that really brings those passions together and delivers something that we think is more relevant and meaningful to you. To create data, you need content. It's the other way around sometimes. You have to create a wonderful content, then you create more data. So people are more looking a lot of ah, the data and then the content as the content in the end. I think the content should be the beginning mm, of the point. big data. So if you have a good content, your data is going to explode.